What's up everybody, hope you're all doing great and welcome back to Selenix Crypto and in this video we're going to be covering Sologenic or the Solo token once again. The last time I did an analysis on Sologenic was I think back in December, uh, back when the, when the big airdrop happened for uh, XRP holders. Then it was around six, seven, eight dollars so it has decreased massively. You can take a look that was around here then the volume was also great right here as you can see but the volume right now is actually pretty good as well. It's up to 14 million, which isn't necessarily a lot. Um, but if you compare it with like the, the, the maximum it was right here, it was like 17. So it's pretty close to those maximums. Uh, and it's 15% of the market cap, so it isn't necessarily nothing. As for the Sologenic project, I mean, it's it's tough that it actually dropped down this much because I know there's a very so, very big and, and solid community behind the project. The project it's itself is doing a lot of things as well with a decentralized exchange and a la launch of Corium. I think a few airdrops of Corium are still happening, but it doesn't seem to be taken off that much. Market cap is good, but the volume is um, well, it's really low. So um, that isn't great. This might not be all the volume though, so um, we got to be wary for that. Um, but yeah, if we actually take a look at the analysis right now of Sologenic, the good thing we have done is breaking through this 48, 40 cent, uh, 48, 46 cents level. Um, and I think that if we can stay above that level, so the main level we would need to stay above is like 46 cents. If we can stay above that, then I also think that we can reach a little bit higher than we did right here. As you can see, we reached 55 cents, which is the lower bound of this key area. Um, I think we can reach 58 as long as we stay above 46 cents. So then we might see something like this small consolidation between 46 and 52. And then as soon as we break 52, go up to 58, which I do think will reject pretty hard off of that. But still, that would be an increase. Um, but I cannot stress it enough that we should hold 46 cents. I mean, if we break through 46 cents, then we'll probably drop down to 40 cents at first and afterwards also down to like around 38, 37 and a half cents, uh, which is the lower bound of this key area right there. And I do think the key area will hold or at least uh, be enough of a foundation to start up some sort of a consolidation between either 42 and 38 or 46 and 38. I'd say that the former, the, the first one, just because uh, Sologenic overall is not that volatile. Um, but yeah, so the main thing we're looking for right now is to hold that 46 cents area, which I think we can do for at least a couple of days, because as you can see right now, we took a break retest off of like 50 cents, which is great. Just under there, we also have around uh, 47 and 48 cents. That's already a pretty strong support. So. Um, you know, I don't even think that we'll hit 46 cents within the next two days. Uh, so that will definitely hold, but it is, um, you know, we should hold it for like a little bit longer because it's not necessarily that if we get one hit off of that, that would go up to 58. It's more that if this level is really sustained for like four to five days, um, then the chances just get bigger and bigger the, the longer it uh, is in that consolidation or above that 46 cents area to get up to 58 cents. But I do think as of right now, 58 cents is the maximum. If for some reason we actually manage to close above 56 cents, yeah, then we can get up to 64 cents. But um, yeah, as I said, I highly doubt that that's going to happen and I would pl place um, I would think the chance of that right now is around five to 10%. So that's not great. As I said, there's a big and strong community behind Sologenic. They can do a lot of great things, but it's gonna take a lot of buyer uh, pressure and momentum to get there. So yeah, that's basically my analysis for now on Sologenic or the Solo token. If you do have any questions about the analysis, please let me know down in the comments. But as for now, thank you all for watching and listening and I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.